Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special and exciting guest with me. This is Holly, she is a freelance brand designer living in Wellington, New Zealand. And we're gonna do a video today all about the differences between freelancing and working in-house at a company. Basically, I, like, like Femme said, am a branding designer, so I work predominantly with um, startups or entrepreneurs or small businesses to create or kind of revamp their brands um, and I do that full-time freelance so just on my own and with lots of different companies and yeah that's kind of my jam so exciting and <laughs> you have a whole like black and white studios is your thing right and you run it all yeah. by yourself yes yeah, really cool. so it's a yeah my own little one woman studio I call it <laughs> um, so yeah that's what I do so we're gonna talk a little bit about how Holly's had her experience being a freelancer and my experience being an in-house designer because I think you jumped straight after university into freelance, right? Yeah, I mean, I'd had a couple of other like in-house or other jobs in between, but mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much. And yeah. what like what made you decide to make that decision to go into freelance? So basically, I had like I said, I'd worked like in-house, I worked at Zero. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked at a couple of startups and um, a few other agency type things. And throughout that, I kind of realized that I really enjoy working by myself and I work mm -hmm. really well working by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm very like self-motivated and I'm like, you know, sounds Ambitious. like you're up yourself, <laughs> but I'm like driven yeah. and um, I'm super introverted as well. So it, I get a lot more energy when I'm by myself. Yeah. Um, and I had done a bit of freelancing alongside uni and my other jobs and I just loved that experience of working one-on-one -on -one with the client and um, having that relationship and being in control of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So um, when I left my job, I made that decision that I was just going to try it and see if it worked and here I am, it worked. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome to hear. Yeah. So I know that you have done freelancing before, so yes. what kind of made you not want to do it anymore? Yes, <laughs> so I was doing a little bit of freelancing on the side at my job that I had before Uber and that's where I was getting most of my experience doing product design because I wasn't doing focused product design at my previous role. So I was doing a bit of freelancing mostly just to get the experience and not really as a sort of full-time sustainable income yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so it was really fun to have that on the side and I really wanted to consciously join a company because I was really looking for a team that I could learn a lot from. Awesome. And I felt like I was really on, early on in my career and I was sort of seeking some mentorship, you know, being able to work side by side with yeah. people and really get all of the learnings and learn not just about design, but also about the whole sort of product process, like how do you build products? So, yeah. you know, working with engineers, working with data scientists, which was something mm -hmm. that I, as a freelancer, didn't get to see that side yeah. and also didn't see an opportunity really to do that. Hence why I thought, okay, I'm going to go all in and, and get the job and get the experience. So that's why I joined the company and I'm not actively doing any freelancing right now on the side. Nice. <laughs> so I guess some people who are watching might not know the major differences between freelancing and working in a company. I mean obviously people probably understand that one is like working for yourself and one is working for a company and a team but in terms of like the day-to-day -day work and kind of the projects that you do, what do you, as someone who's kind of done both in a full-time capacity, yeah. what do you think are the major differences between the two? In terms of the work, the difference I guess, especially between you working in-house, mm -hmm. is that you're working on one product yes. all the time, yes. and like a very niche area of one product, yes. right? Yes, um, Whereas mm -hmm. I am working on multiple products or businesses at the same time, often um, yeah. and they're very different. The only thing that kind of ties them all together is that they're all branding projects yes. most of the time. Um, but other than that, they're very different. <laughs> yeah, I think the turnover is a lot faster, I guess, in a freelance yeah. world. Like you get a new project that could be very different from the last thing you were working on. Mm -hmm. And working in a company, I mean, you're obviously working for this brand, right? This yeah. company goal. So you're always kind of working towards this one big mission and you might get different projects along the way but it's for the same company it's for the same underlying mission and strategy yeah so you're kind of in this long-term play 
and you get to work on lots of different little things that contribute to some overall arching goal or something like that. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to freelance, you got different things coming in and out the door, which yeah. is fun in terms of diversity. Like yeah. if you get bored of a project or don't enjoy something, I guess there's like a bright side or the light <laughs> at the end of the tunnel, like, oh, soon I'll be working on something different. Yeah. But when you're in a company, yeah, you either have to like love it or get out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, totally. Also, like, it's cool because I get to learn about so much, so many different things. Yes, like, that's true. Um, I'm working on a project to do with JavaScript at the moment, and cool. so it means that I get to kind of immerse myself in the mm-hmm. world of JavaScript JavaScript for a couple of months. Yep. Um, and then, like you said, I can move on to something, something else. else, and I work with a teacher, and I get to learn all about education. And, yeah, that's fun. You know, so, um, yeah, it's... I get to kind of context shift a lot, which is cool. That is cool. Yeah. (laughs) So maybe we can also talk about some of the biggest challenges. I find working at a company similar to what we just talked about actually is sometimes you're working on one thing for a really long time um, and you're always working towards the same, yeah, company mission. (laughs) Um, Which if you believe in the mission is a good thing. Uh, I hear from some people that, you know, after five years at a company, they start to get over it or ready for something mm. else, they're ready for a new challenge when you've worked on something, the same thing for that long. Yeah. So I think that can be a real challenge working in-house is just making sure that you stay challenged and that you stay interested and excited about the work mm. because sometimes it can be kind of routine or same, same after yeah. a while <laughs> if you've been at the same place for a few years. So I think that is one of the biggest challenges Uh, for me is to make sure that I always feel challenged ironically and excited about what I'm doing. I mean in terms of freelance I think the money is a constant struggle (laughs) um, because you you have to almost become like a business woman and understand money and yeah you're running a business and like the amount of like accounting I've had to learn Mm -hmm. and like strategy around when money comes in and how you do that is Yeah, immense. Um, And also, I think something that I miss, which is a challenge for me about working at a company, is um, having that team and having people around you to bounce ideas off or relate to or even just like have Friday drinks with. Oh, yes, it's a bit lonely Um, being a freelancer. (laughs) Yeah, I try and gather other freelancers or other contractors or whatever to, you know, work at a cafe together or whatever. Because otherwise you can just so easily get lonely or very insular in your own little world. And um, it's, yeah, it's a challenge to stay engaged with other people Mm -hmm. and not get lonely. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, even as an introvert, you know. Yeah, Um, I totally, I totally understand. Yeah, so that's a big challenge, I think. As a freelancer, I'm assuming one benefit is having a bit more freedom and flexibility. (laughs) Although with that comes, like, the money thing as well. Or, like, you know, not... Being able to take a holiday when you want to is great, but then also the downside of like not getting paid while you're on holiday. (laughs) Um, So yeah, from your perspective, what what are the main benefits? Uh, I think like my favorite thing about freelancing is that I get to choose what I work on. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I get to work with the most amazing clients in my mind (laughs) um, because I get to choose them. And so it means that I'm always excited and always like stoked with who I'm working with because it's up to me. Yeah. Um, For the most part, I can choose who I want to work with and the type of projects that I want to work with. And Mm -hmm. so that's like a massive, massive benefit. And then, yeah, I think just having the ability to work in a flexible way that works for me um, is huge. Like I find it really difficult working in an office from nine to five I find like creativity for me doesn't work like that Mm -hmm. um so I feel really overwhelmed and stuck when I'm working nine to five and in one place so I love that now I can you know I can get up early and then I can work and then I can go to the gym you know take that time switch it all around to Mm -hmm. whatever's going to work for me there is some benefit to a nine to five in that Mm -hmm. you can switch off um, very easily which is it's nice to kind of come home and not have to worry about work and you can leave that at the office wow what a dream like, yeah <laughs> i guess like your home is your office so that yeah. is a lot harder uh and then of course i guess like you know things like sick leave 
annual leave, those kind of, you know, just general perks is obviously a benefit. Um, but also what I find as a benefit is the team aspect a lot yeah. of the time is being able to work with really smart, talented people and be able to work with them, not just like on a per project basis, but you know, over the long term, like yeah. for years, you know, you can really work together and establish a strong working relationship and learn a lot from each other. So I like that, that kind of come back, comes back to the mentorship thing that I was really looking for and that I feel mm -hmm. like I am getting in my current job, which is really nice. And I guess another benefit is that you get to work really hard towards this big goal, I suppose. Yeah. You know, like if you're working at a company where you really believe in the mission or you feel really passionate about the industry that it's in or the space that it's in, uh, I think that's a nice benefit too, to be involved in something that you really care about and you can feel like you're really making a difference or making a change towards something. Um, in, in my case especially, you know, working on something so global and so big, yeah, wow. uh, I would never be able to do that as a freelancer mm -hmm. or it would be really difficult to do that. So I think that's a nice benefit of uh, working for a company as you kind of feel like you're sort of, you have this opportunity, I guess, to make a difference in a way. Yeah, Which is not to that. say that you can't make a difference yeah. as a freelancer, but I think it's just more challenging. Um, you typically get smaller scale projects, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it takes thousands of engineers to create and build some of the stuff that me and my team work on, yeah. so uh, that's exciting. So how do you think that people can decide or know which is best for them? Yeah, this is a hard question because I see a lot of people asking this. If, if you're currently working at a company and you're thinking about moving to freelance, then my best recommendation would be to start freelancing on the side while you yeah. still have your job. So not to, to quit and give up everything and then try freelancing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that will help you decide. It's kind of hard to say you know, or give a one size fits all yeah. answer because I think it's a really personal decision. And I do think it's worth keeping in mind that being a freelancer is running a business yeah. as well. I think I've seen a lot of freelancers underestimate that and not realize uh, how much of their time would be spent on running, a, you know, doing business yeah. things. <laughs> yeah. It's not just designing all day. Yeah. So I would keep that in mind and think about whether you're cut out for that, whether you enjoy that part as well, um, and think about how you're going to grow as a business, not just as an individual. Yeah, I think I would totally agree with you about freelancing on the side. And like, it, I have kind of a weird story, I guess, in that I did start freelancing really soon after uni. But the difference is that I started working in design in my second year of uni. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I had already, like I said, worked at a few different types of companies, like a big place like Zero and a big team in marketing. And then I worked as like the only creative director at a tiny startup and then in a little agency, you know. So yeah. I had tried all of these things before yeah make tried the it full leap yeah um so i knew what i liked and what i didn't like and how i worked and how i you know didn't work mm -hmm. um and it's good to know yeah and like learned a lot about myself i think if you're going to be a freelancer that's so important is to know you and how you work best and what brings you joy like what sparks joy in your design career and um yeah. that'll you know if that is working by yourself and being a self-starter yeah. and you know doing all the other non-design things like marketing and business and accounting and all that <laughs> stuff if you like that which yeah. I do then perfect yeah do it but if you're like them and looking for a team environment and learning and being yeah fully immersed, um, immersed yeah in that that product or that service then working at a team yes and a company is probably perfect for you okay that was all the questions that we had lined up for us to discuss yeah. today thank you for sharing thank you so <laughs> we didn't mention at the start but we actually met each other at university i think right yeah or was yeah it before and a little bit at zero yeah, yeah a little bit at zero so we've known each other for quite a long time studied together so it's so nice to 
kind of come back yeah and full circle full circle <laughs> and like talk about where we are now and what we're doing is uh yeah really nice so thank yeah. you so much for being on my channel holly also has a channel which you didn't mention at the start I didn't and you should know. have <laughs> tell everyone where they can find it um so you can find me at youtube.com slash black and oh no slash holly arnett design <laughs> i have two channels we will sorry. link it we will link it for sure yeah it's um i just vlog at the moment my studio life studio vlogs yeah <laughs> so go and subscribe to holly's channel and check it out it's really cool thank, thank you, you so much for making this video with me thank you all right thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye, bye. <laughs>